China is either close to becoming the world's leading research power or has already achieved this mark. This country is now ahead of the United States on annual publications output. This is a clear sign of where the Asian superpower is heading to. In recent years, China has also promoted integrating digital technologies such as the Internet, Big Data and Artificial Intelligence with people's daily life. The vision is becoming clear. In a decade or so, China will replete with deep tech such as cloud computing, artificial intelligence, self-driving cars and homemade cutting-edge chips. Incumbent technology giants such as Alibaba in e-commerce or Tencent in payments and entertainment are already bringing countless tools to make daily life easier and convenient. Let me show you some of the examples that you can already see every day while living in China. Since we're moving towards the digitalization of the economy in countries like China, nowadays it's super popular to use apps like WeChat or Alipay to purchase our things simply scanning a QR code everywhere we go. Now we're finding a digital currency and it's actually the digital renminbi that the government is promoting here in China. In a similar way, you're scanning QR codes like Alipay or WeChat. This digital renminbi can simply scan QR codes to purchase goods from everywhere you go. So now we have a vending machine here. You can see the sign of the Chinese uh, renminbi or the Chinese currency. And then we simply choose whatever we want to purchase. We simply touch the machine and we choose the ECNY or the digital renminbi. We will scan a QR code uh, just like this. Input the password, which I'm not going to tell you. And voila, it's a very simple process. And now this digital currency is accepted all around China. And the main difference we will find with apps like WeChat or Alipay is simply because these apps are backed up with your bank account with physical currency, physical renminbi. This new digital renminbi is totally digital. It's not a banknote backing up these modalities. So it's only in the phone and it's only in a digital mode that you can use it. It's now widely accepted all around China and it's becoming more and more popular to use. Now forget about bills, forget about coins, now the future is a digital currency. Remember we have the power banks to charge our phones. Now the same technology is coming to our electric cars. Now we have these huge power banks that will be probably soon available in parking lots perhaps. So they can move around and you can charge your car, electric car, uh, in this way, just like you do it with a normal plug-in at home or at the office. The difference, this is a mobile uh, unit. It can go anywhere you want. Probably you will find it in a parking lot. Imagine the scenario, you just park your car and you need to find uh, an electric charger. It's a huge space, probably there are no more. The difference with this one, this is a smart machine that will find your car. Probably it will work with some kind of apps to track where these units are and they just could move automatically to the place where you are in this big space. You can simply plug it just like you do with any normal plug-in for an electric car and it will charge the battery in just 30 minutes. So that is a very cool solution for electric cars that are now more and more popular everywhere in the world. We're visiting a small company from China that is now creating more and more products for this so-called metaverse that is becoming more and more famous. They're working right now in different projects at the same time to showcase different kind of information like the one you can find in a museum or in these uh, kind of places to learn about the history, heritage of China. Here you can also see these three huge screens. They are now also working on the digitalization of the city to showcase different tools for the public administration in order to see the different parts of the city that are functioning like 5G antennas, public lighting, so they simply can scan in real time and see the functioning and the location of all these parts of the city.
is another platform where they're also kind of showing in a digital way different kind of villages and all the information that you can see. So it's very interesting how realistic it looks and how, it's e how easy it is to manage it. You can see here uh, all the different locations of these small villages. You can see from the top, like in a drone view, you can just move around, uh, close up and close in. And you can, I guess you can choose the different parts and it will display some kind of information. Super useful, these kind of tools nowadays, if you don't want to go perhaps to a museum, now you have it in your computer on your phone, you can have access to all this useful information. I assuming also in the future these kind of tools will be very helpful to use in places like schools or universities to make the learning process more interactive and more interesting for people. As for me, I love technology and I love all these metaverse and digitalization process of everything. We just saw the digital currency where we use our phone uh, just to pay and purchase things, forget about money and paper money and coins. Now everything we're doing through the computers and through our phones. So these trends, it seems to be unstoppable and we will see more and more products like this in the future here in China. Super fun. We were playing on a virtual reality battle and since you have the VR set, you can actually get into a whole digital world that you can see the place where you can hide behind. You have the gun, you have two teams, super intense because of course you have the headset and you believe that is true and you're just moving like in, in real life. Of course, if you're watching the video of me playing, I might look kind of silly because you're not watching what I was watching, but it was super nice. I think these kind of games are going to become more and more popular everywhere. This is the first time I try uh, a game like this one. I actually have a VR set at home just for playing one person games, but these ones, it's a different level. Let me know in the comments down below if you ever try any virtual reality game or if in your country there is any kind of metaverse or virtualization of the real world. Have you tried? Have you been in touch with it? I am super surprised of the advances that China has reached until now and I think we're going to see more and more. This is an unstoppable trend that we will see everywhere we go now. I'm super excited to see what the future is going to bring. So remember to subscribe, like the video, comment down below what you think about these kind of games and these kind of trends. And with that, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impression over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.